The answer is Asia. Australia is the smallest continent. Fingerprint scanners, which open doors and keep track of people, used to be the stuff of James Bond spy movies, but now they're pretty common. You can even buy laptops that have them. But what about schools? Should they be using them to keep an eye on students? Well, a few are trying them out, but Sarah's found there's been a mixed reaction. Fingerprinting is something you normally associate with criminals. It's not something you'd expect to see at a school. Or is it? Last month, Kuringai High School in Sydney tried a new fingerprinting system to keep track of its students. But it caused quite a stir. The school wasn't commenting today, but the government... Some students thought it was a good idea. I think it's a good idea so people don't wag. And it's our choice as well. We don't have to do it. We weren't forced to do it. I actually think it's a good idea. Others weren't impressed. I just think it's a waste of money. It's not... It's just pointless. Absolutely pointless. I just think it's a waste of time. They haven't given us much information about it. They've just kind of sprung it on us. So why are they doing it? For starters, it's not this sort of fingerprinting. It's electronic, but it works the same way. By some weird twist of nature, we've all got different swirly patterns of ridges and valleys on our fingers. And everyone's pattern is different, even identical twins. A computer scans the pattern and matches it with personal details to check who you are. So when kids get to school, they scan in their fingerprint and the teachers know who's turned up. It's a modern version of the old roll call, where the teacher ticks you off and lets the office know who's not there. That's probably how your school still does it. But some people reckon that's not precise enough. Education departments say truancy is a real problem and in recent years schools have started using more high-tech ways of keeping track of kids. It's about making sure the right kids are at school and the wrong kids aren't. Some schools use ID cards, a bit like this, which show your photo and can be swiped and read by a computer. But fans of fingerprinting say that's a better idea because you can't leave your finger at home. But some people reckon taking kids' fingerprints is invading their privacy, and that's not right. We think it's an awful idea. It treats children as if they're criminals. Schools say fingerprints can't be accessed by anyone else. Many parents are happy uh, with the introduction of the system. It's 2008. It's, just used, it's using modern technology. But there are still worries they could be used in the wrong way. Bit of a waste of time, waste of money. I think the system we've got right now works all right. It is kind of scary since they've got, they've got all your records and I don't know. At this stage, Kuringai High has dropped the trial, but other schools are already using fingerprint scanning. Maybe yours will one day. So what do you reckon? Great idea because um, students can't, you know, fake going to school. Uh, at our school, we already have scanning. I think it's a bad idea because, like, you can't bludge. <laughs> well, I think that it would work quite well because everyone obviously has a different uh, little print on their finger, so it'd be an easier way to keep track of everyone, I guess. It's bad because they could keep your fingerprint and put it on the police record. It's weird, not right. Just still do your name and stuff. But I reckon it's still good to do it because, like, you know that it's them. That's what they say, but what do you think? Have a vote in our poll. The question is, is it OK to fingerprint kids at school? If you want to vote, go to our website at abc.net.au slash btn. And you can tell us what you think in the guest book while you're there. Let's talk about Anzac Day. Last Friday, massive crowds turned out to dawn 